hi students this is dr hemant and uh, along with me is dr vijay we are faculty of uh, medical oncology at dr tutorials uh, today we are here to interview dr sushma m dr sushma m is our neat ss medical oncology rank number 6 uh, hi sushma hi sir hi good to have you here uh, yes, we are going to have a quick chat with you on how things are and how probably uh, you are going ahead so uh, um, i know a little bit about you but we all would, uh, all of us would want to know how did you start your education where did you do your education your mbbs md and then we'll go ahead. okay sir um, hello everyone uh, this is dr sushma and i'm basically from hyderabad i have done undergraduation from usmania medical college and later on i have jumped to uh, mamsi for my general medicine uh, for post graduation and i came back after post graduation to my home town in august august okay fine and uh, so you had finished probably the july uh, july yes, i think around that time and you just came back in august and it just around 4 months now yes sir that uh, you got your seat fantastic so going getting into mam seat itself is a great so i i know that you are academic really good but why medical oncology of all the subjects uh, So, everyone says that probably it's a tough subject tough but subject, yes, what, what makes you think that that is the right choice for you sir to start with um, in mam see there are no rotations during a second year it's just that i have seen a few uh, hematological cases onco cases i kind of felt very attracted and fascinated mainly towards uh, hemat hemat onco and uh, started reading the subject uh, after seeing the cases i have seen like uh, aml case and uh, C- cml cases uh, okay. so i kind of felt more fascinated towards that. great fantastic uh, and i hope also- this is definitely an extremely fascinating subject uh, you see a cml patient would have come really sick yes, with very high counts and one month later is absolutely fine that that just is appears like a miracle yes, and sir. many a time what happens is people actually give really pro- uh, very bad prognosis when a diagnosis of leukemia has made and when the patient comes to you you are tell that absolutely fine you know yes, three months time you are back to your work so that actually gives you that fascination yes, definitely and what else and oncology is just one subject which is uncovered during our post graduation so it is also like one of the reasons why it is more interesting Definitely. and fascinating yeah a lot of medicine is involved in oncology yes and sir. Uh, as you said uh, most of our uh, md courses uh, do not offer a rotation in oncology we tend to see the cases yes, but many times we do not know what exactly, exactly. Do, and probably we might end up preferring so it becomes a very secure subject right not everyone treats oncology yes sir okay. no, so that's also uh, one of the reasons you, ha- you have the security of subject so there is yes, never sir. a dearth for oncology that uh, you will go out of job that is not going yes, to happen any time okay uh, fantastic hi sushma hi sir so you had hardly some 6 months for preparation so 4 months 4 months that's great too good thank you sir so how did it all start about you started preparing in your md or you just started during this four months sir during md uh, i started with i initially tried to read devita and ncsn guidelines but uh, it is i felt very complicated like very very complicated so i started with basic books like harrison's and uh, uh, cheritos manual book of oncology and during the end of second year and initial part of third year and then uh, i came back to hyderabad i heard from my friend about doc tutorials i subscribed to uh, a test series li test series uh, later on i subscribed to videos uh, after going through the videos i felt like very uh, comfortable and easier to go through devita and the ncsn guidelines uh, so i can say that doc tutorials played very very great role line like vital role during my preparation <laughs> so yeah so I'm, reading after hearing videos is actually so comfortable <laughs> more than just reading when you hear and then start reading even devita it becomes easy for you to yes, read yes sir yes sir through easier i have made the notes of uh, the same and also got through the what are the tests and uh, mcqs and uh, i may have made actually made a schedule according to the subject wise tests and i have gone through it so 
and during the last 10 to 15 days of my preparation i have gone all through of my notes and which is i felt which is more important uh, for revision yeah we know this uh, exam was not so easy for all yes, of sir. us yes sir so, so what was running into your mind when you was when you were halfway through the exam you found it tough then how is your mindset sir i gave, opted for hematology and uh, oncology so my first paper was hematology and they like i gone through like many of hemato oncology uh, mcqs so it was actually tiring to go through like first hematology i wanted to go, uh, opt for oncology that was my first preference but after going through hematology and then oncology it was actually t- tiring and then uh, after going into oncology part there was many mcqs on uh, investigations like how to approach and uh, that was kind of like confusing also and uh, like during that exam also i felt like it was very difficult paper i make it uh, through exam or i don't know i, I was like i felt so bad yeah. got it that was that was through everyone for everyone yes, that was the story so you could uh, predict that uh, things could be better for you sir actually i prepared for like top 40 or top 50 so that i can be into any college and after coming i felt like the paper was very tough after coming and going through our group uh, i felt like everyone was like the yeah. paper was very tough so i kind of like a relieved <laughs> Uh, when everyone started posting the mcqs and answers after i've going through i've gone through so i felt like maybe i could make into top 50 or something like that yeah. it was no, actually a relief no less than 10 your rank yes, 6 good yes, great sir. yes i actually couldn't believe my rank was 6 i like double check triple checked also <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, i think uh, yes uh, when the paper is tough probably um, this time uh, i agree that the approach was being tested yes, for uh, yes, more so i think that is what we try to do in our videos we yes, uh, never yes, went more on the facts but basically try to see that if a case comes how yes, would you probably evaluate and go and uh, that is what few of the feedback that we have got to that uh, more often what happens is the approach the understanding of the subject becomes more important uh, rather than only the facts uh, because yes, yes uh, oncology, a lot of factual questions do come. Previous neat assess, uh, we had seen that uh, quite a few factual questions had come. But uh, this neat assess, especially the carcinoma unknown primary part, yes, some more genetics part, yes, it, it was like that. Uh, fantastic. Good to see that uh, during the exam, you were kind of maybe panicked, but when yes, you, came out, you saw that everyone's on the same boat. And that's what happens when a paper is tough that uh, good students do get filtered at times that your entire knowledge and uh, effort is not. Uh, but uh, more importantly, just four months cracking it is not easy. Uh, we know that your academic will be brilliant and that has always been there. And definitely hard work and keeping and maintaining that schedule, what you told is yes, extremely sir. important that you need to kind of make sure that what you plan now, you finish it off and move on and revising is as always uh, because oncology is a wide, uh, highly volatile subject and uh, yes, you sir. have probably actually gone through what is to be done and you've done that uh, great so uh, from here uh, we know that we are going to have a good medical oncologist but uh, your opinion for or your suggestion for the students on how to go about the next uh, exam the pattern is probably going to change but the INISS is going to be same we are still not sure the pattern changes, uh, court cases happen. We don't yes, know sir. what exactly is there. But uh, yes, quite a few students were kind of uh, slightly heartbroken after the exam and they are going to prepare for it. But what would be your suggestion on how to go about, irrespective of the paper, how to go about things? Sir, I would only suggest like maintaining a proper schedule is very, very important. Uh, and sticking to it, that also is very important. And last 10 to 15 days of revision is also very, very important. Whatever the pattern it is, like yeah, right. um, being it a common pool exam or anything, I would only suggest this. Yeah. Mainly. And, and certain high yield topics are yes, there. Sir, high yield topics. I, I think I and videos and for tutorials. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And carcinoma unknown primary specifically, yes, I suggested yes, that probably there will be plenty of questions from that. Uh, the questions were slightly more deeper, but still they had, uh, at least if you had some clue, you'd crack it. Uh, great, Sushma. Uh, 
uh, we'll see you soon around. Uh, fantastic six rack. You'll get a choice of uh, your seat, whatever you want. Uh, all the best. Good Thanks. luck. And uh, always stay in touch. Uh, we are okay. there as a guide for your DM also. Thank you. Uh, students, I think we are going to close this interview here. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sushma, for joining us. And that thank is you. me and uh, Vijay signing off. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's my privilege. Yeah. Bye. All the best. Thank you, sir.